guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about horse hacks and DIYs. This video was super fun to film, so I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, uh, let's get on to the video. So this first hack, you will need some of your jewelry and rubber bands or necklaces, whatever you want. And then you will need a tack cleaning rack. I guess that's your, what you call it. Any color, doesn't matter. And then you will also need some string. And it doesn't really matter how big your string is, just matters where you're gonna hang it and that's how much you need. So that's what you're gonna need. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tack cleaning thing and you're gonna loop the string so it's double and then hook it through the tack thing and just like that. And then what you're gonna do with your jewelry is just hang it on all the little hooks and rubber bands and necklaces. And this is really cute and it just adds like a little horsey feel. And that's really it. My jewelry is a mess. That's why it looks so bad now. But it will look pretty classy. So this is what the final DIY will look like. It's super cute and it's very durable. And I do use this often, so it's very convenient. So that's DIY number one. What you'll need is a horseshoe, some glue sticks, some string, some fake flowers, and some scissors, and also a glue gun. So you're going to need to cut all the little tips off the flowers. Then after that, you're going to take your hot glue gun and glue to the flowers to wherever you want on your horseshoe. Now you're going to want to hot glue pieces of the twine or string to the back of the horseshoe right here and here. And that's basically it. So it's a cu super cute hack and it's easy to do. And it only takes like five minutes. So that's really nice. The supplies you'll need is a canvas, some paint, preferably like a darker paint, but whatever paint you want. This, I chose a metallic gray. And then you'll need some paint brushes and a picture of a horse. You can either draw it or you can print it offline. I chose to draw it, draw it. and there is it. And yeah, that's what you'll be needing.
then what you want to do next is somehow put this on the canvas without letting it move. So I'm going to tape it down with some double-sided tape. And don't use duct tape because it will stay there permanently. And then you're going to want to put it where you want it on the canvas. I'm putting it in the center. And then what you want to do is just paint over it. This is what it should look like. I kind of purposely made it look all like messy and like stripey and like that's what the horse should look like and you should wait at least an hour or two and then rip the horse off and it will be done. So we're going to start peeling it off after one hour. It might get a little wet, like this, that's okay.